Hey there, everybody. Phil here for AndroidCentral.com, and I'm going to walk you through manually applying the Android 2.1 update to the Motorola Droid. It's pretty simple. It just takes a couple minutes. First thing you need to do, go to AndroidCentral.com, which you should do every day, right? Here's our uh, little post where we can go and actually get the download. I'm going to walk you through this. There are going to be a couple breaks just where files are loading, copying, extracting, whatever, and it takes a few minutes. I'm not going to make you sit here and listen to our uh, lovely music that I know you guys all love. So there will be a couple cuts, but I'm not showing you or you're not going to miss anything. Put it that way. So there's link number one. That is the direct download straight from Google. It is the official Android 2.1 update, and we'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it. This is the official 2.1 update. We're only applying it manually instead of getting the OTA, instead of getting it over in the air. Otherwise, it's exactly what you would get pushed out to your phone from Verizon. No more, no less. It's not illegal. It's not hacked. It's not rooted. It's not cooked. It's none of that. This is the official update. So here we are. I'm downloading it over Wi-Fi. This is in real time, much like Jack Bauer would do. So, you know, you'll see it takes a minute, but it's really not that big a file. It's only a 15 meg file. You're not actually doing the entire ROM. It's just loading the 2.1 stuff on top of what you already have. So you can do this, you know, without ever plugging it into your computer. And that's kind of cool. I like being able to do that on Android. You can do it on other systems too, but it's really easy to do on Android. So sit back, relax. We're almost done here. This is the hardest part. Once you get through this, it's smooth sailing. Now what we're going to do here in a minute, this is downloading directly to my SD card. In fact, I didn't even tell it where to download. Astro is, uh, not Astro, but uh, Android's doing it on its own. Went ahead and put it on the SD card. It's smart enough to do that, which is very nice. So two things we're going to need to do next. We're going to need to move it to the root of the SD card, and we're going to need to rename it. So there we go. It's done downloading. Now I'm going to go into the Astro file browser. This is a free download in the Android market. Just search for Astro. It's a basic file browser if you've ever used one before. And you know, you'll know what you're looking at. So let's go and find that download in my downloads folder. There it is right there at the bottom. Signed, blah, 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 a whole bunch of characters. So two things we need to do is move it to the root of the SD card. I'm going to hit move there. And when I say move to the root, the root is like the base folder, the very top folder, whatever. It's a different kind of root than what you're used to hearing with ROMs and such. So there we are, we're back in the root and paste, and there it is. Now we need to change the name, so I'll hold down on it again, and choose edit, and then this time instead of move, we'll do rename. Now we need to rename it update.zip, and you'll see it already has the .zip at the end, so we'll just put update at the beginning of it. Easy as pie and we'll hit OK. Now it's time to actually turn the phone off. And from here we're going to go into the bootloader. This is actually the trickiest part for me and I cut out a couple minutes here uh, when it took me four or five tries to do it and you'll see that in a second. So to go into the bootloader you hold down the letter X and then turn the phone off. You're actually going to want to do it with your left hand or right hand, whatever works better. Do it with one hand because you're going to need your other hand free as I totally forgot here. So after you see the little triangle with the exclamation point in it, you need to fiddle around, and that's what I'm doing here. You need to hit the volume up button and then the camera button, and it's real impossible to do with one hand. So you're going to need two hands, and after one or two tries, I got to it. Now you're on the bootloader, and you go down to update from SD card, and this is what you'll see for the next four, five, six minutes. It takes a little while. You will see the progress bar move slowly, but it moves, and you'll see updates on the screen there. So we're gonna cut away from this in a minute because you really don't need to watch it go through all of this. It's pretty boring. But really, it takes five or six minutes and you'll see it moving, nothing to be alarmed about. All right, and we're back. You'll see it progressed further and we are almost done. And there it is. That's it, it updated, time to reboot the phone. And I'm not gonna make you watch it reboot. It does take a little longer to reboot after the update than a normal soft reset would. But again, that's no big deal. There's our Droid logo. There's our magic eye. All right, it's just about done rebooting. Give it a couple more seconds. There we are. Hey, that looks familiar, doesn't it? Now let's dive into the settings just to make sure that uh, we did in fact update and we're looking at 2.1. 
about phone and bingo android 2.1 update one don't worry that it says update one that's perfectly normal that's the way it should be it has nothing to do with the way we updated all right see ya